Hey budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 28 and I'm working on my financial freedom journey. And if you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the first paycheck for the month of June in my brand new budget planner. Um, Mo budget, less problems. These are available on paperbymo.com. So let's get into it. I was just looking over my calendar just because like, ugh, first of all, I love it. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. But I really want to utilize it more. So I was just thinking like, what can I write on here? <laughs> so I was just like writing my to-do list, which aligns with my monthly goals to find a therapist. Um, switch out the bills of my money, um, pay off my credit card debt, and then try a new hobby. So yes. Also, I went ahead and wrote some groceries in my grocery list, you guys. I don't know if you guys are like me, but when you write the groceries, you might write five to 10 things and you come back with like 20 to 30 things. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what happened. That's just what happened. So here's the monthly budget and we're gonna get right into the first paycheck budget. I'm just gonna turn this over. And I'm gonna get into it. So I do have a coffee here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I record in the morning time. Um, I don't know, it's just easier for me. I record in the morning, edit in the afternoon, post in the evening. So yeah. Okay, so this is paycheck number one, okay? Um, and then I think the date is the 11th of June. Okay, yeah, oh geez. So June 11, 2023 <clears throat> is this date and we're gonna get right into it. Okay, y'all, we're, we're halfway over with the year, I don't know. That just makes me feel some type of way. Okay, so starting out, this is starting meaning what's already in my account. And when I say zero, I mean there's nothing in there. And we're writing under the budgeting area and then we're gonna income, this is my full time job. Okay, and that income is $1,955.66. <clears throat> so my budgeting income here is $1,955.66. Now, one thing I will say, um, thinking about the last video, closing out May, I usually do have like I don't record these videos until after I know for a fact that is actually my number. My number stays pretty consistent unless I did travel for work or something like that. But um, sometimes, every now and then, you know, a little, mm -mm, you know, a little something else will come in, like YouTube money or something. So I say that to say because I, I really want to do a better job with actually closing out each paycheck. So we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna get into first things first: our fixed expenses. So. You know what? Before we get into that, y'all, how about <clears throat> let's go and get into these bills. Okay, so in the front of the book, there are, oh, we need to go over my bingo because life works out for me. Yes, I love that. Sending starts in debt tracker, network, emergency, bill tracker. Okay, so let's get into these bill trackers. And let's just write everything down so that way we know exactly what is what. Okay, so the first bill I'm gonna go ahead and do, it's gonna be my electricity. Um, I don't know the amount because it fluctuates. And I actually don't even know when the bill is due because I said this in a previous video, but I realized when I look in the app, they say the bill is due every month on a different day. I don't like that. And it might change because we are moving to a different apartment. So I don't know. I'm just gonna say the fifth because that was the soonest that I've seen it has been due. Okay, so then we have Apple and this is my Apple storage. You know how like you pay the 99 cents and that comes out on the fifth as well th right there boom okay next up we have a phone bill and so um this comes out on the 13th <clears throat> and so and if you didn't know this is a phone bill that i paid for my mother and i so this is going to be 131 it's kind of a hefty phone bill but i don't mind it's life 
Then we have internet, internet. Okay, and she's also doing the 13th. Boom. Now, my issue with the internet with the price is like it fluctuates. Uh, I won't say it fluctuates, but it's like $51 and some change. Sometimes it's $51 and 30 cents. Sometimes it's $51 and 20 cents. So I'm just going to go ahead and say $52. And this is possible when we move. This may change. So I'll just come back, white it out, and update it. Okay, next thing we have is Jim. And hopefully this does change. Um, because we're looking for another apartment with a gym instead of actually paying for a membership so we can just have that amenity so this is due on the 17th and this I'm rounding up here guys is $11 because it's like $10.92 so I'm just gonna say $11 um, next up we have life insurance which hopefully this also changes I'm trying to get out of this life insurance policy and get into a different one so we'll see um i did call the company and i was on hold so i gotta call back and make sure i get through so life insurance is due on the 17th as well a lot of stuff comes out at the same time for me <clears throat> so then we have apple music try not to write so hard so this is due on the 19th and my Apple Music bill is $5.99. They used to be like $4.99. So they went up a dollar, but I can do. This is, I will not lie, this is the student price that I'm getting. So don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so then I also have Hulu. Speaking of student pricing, this is not student price, but I got this during Black Friday. So I pay $1.99. And that's due on the 26th. Not mad at that at all. <clears throat> then we also have car insurance. Again, I hope this change because my car insurance has gone up. Most places have. So it's $171. Again, rounding up. But when I move, I'm trying to move to an area that it'll cost me a little bit less money or maybe more than a little bit less, but less. So these are the bills. I am gonna go through all of these and just check them all off because we have paid everything thus far and that's what this is for. Um, and, and my hope is when I close out my bills or like, yeah, when I, not my bills, when I close out my budget, I could just go in here and check everything off in the moment instead of later on. So I'm going to check these off and then we'll get right back to the budget. Okay. So that's May, the first one I've done in this month in this planner. And we're back to the budget. Okay. Now with that there... Let's get into these fixed expense bills, which is what brought me to the actual bill page in the first place. So first things first, I'm gonna say phone, okay? So my phone bill, um, again, it cost me $131, $131. And I'm just gonna, so we can get these numbers rolling. And then internet, $50. Two dollars, so plus uh -oh, fifty-two, and then the next one is gym. Because regardless if they come or when they come out, um, I have them where they auto come out. Yes, I do check my accounts, but two, well, not my phone bill, but two, I try to make the first uh, paycheck budget um, bill heavy, so all of my bills just come out of this one. Um, but previously, when I was paying rent, because I don't currently pay rent, my fiance pays the rent. When I was, I would split half up. So if the rent costs a thousand, five hundred for one, five hundred for the other. But I actually do that with my car insurance because, as you can see here, um, my car insurance is more than seventy-five dollars. But I go ahead and just do seventy-five or a little bit each check. So one thirty-one plus fifty-two plus eleven plus seventy-five. Okay, make sure I'm up to date with these numbers. The next thing is 
turn it to right sideways. Life insurance, and again, that's nine dollars and fifty cents. So plus nine dot fifty. Um, then we have streamings. Um, but you know, let's first get into electricity. Electricity. So this bill is gonna be ninety one dollars. So we're gonna plus ninety one. Then we have Apple. This is the storage. Okay, and that's ninety nine cents. Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do streaming separate because I want to make sure the math is mathing. Plus dot ninety nine. Plus um, Apple Music. Apple Music, which costs five dollars and ninety one cents. So we're gonna plus five dot ninety nine. And then we have Hulu, which is gonna cost $1.99. cents. You know what? I also have an um, Amazon account that I pay yearly. So I really need to, I'm gonna make a note, make a Amazon envelope, make Amazon envelope. Boom, okay. So it says 37847. So that is the total here for our fixed expenses. Um, which technically electricity isn't a fixed expense because it does change. 370. Oh, I didn't write the 378.47. And then we're gonna subtract $1,955.66. That's $1,577.19. So what's remaining is 1,577.19. Okay, so we're gonna go from fixed expenses to variable. I just like, I don't know, I like that. Okay, so first things up, we have food variable. It's gonna change. Even though these kind of, some of them change, not all. Well, actually electricity is the only one I think that changes, but these I have to pay for, right? These are like the household bills. So food, I decided to only give food $250 because we've been staying in budget lately and we've already spent almost $200 for food. So we shall see how this goes. Okay, then we also have the 52 week savings challenge. I went ahead and wrote that. Let's see, let's, let's check her out. <laughs> yes, so 60 and 40 and that's the one, okay? That's for the first week. The one that means the first week. So 52 week challenge, that's gonna be $100. So we have 250, whoa, that's not 250, 250 plus 100, that's 350. <clears throat> then we have, oh, $10 challenge. Okay, $10 challenge, basically um, $100 a month. So two paychecks, we go ahead and say that is $50. So we're gonna add $50. Then the next thing we have is our one month ahead. One month ahead, that's kind of how I show it. And I'm gonna do $100 because although I'm not paying the rent, my goal is to, you know, we be one month ahead of all of our bills. Hopefully again, the new place we can find, we are finding other cheaper places. So that way we don't have to pay as much, not only just cheaper rent wise, but also cheaper because we won't have a gym membership. So <clears throat> meaning that our monthly expenses will go down. Okay, then the next thing we have is his and hers, which I save money, he saves money. So I'm not really keeping it with his anymore because you know, wedding planning and stuff is expensive. So I'm just doing, adding crap to it. And he adds money to stuff that we have to pay. And then I add money to stuff we have to pay. And that's just how we're doing it. <laughs> However it works, cause that will stress you out. So that's his and hers. Then next we also have a sinking fund, which is interesting. I always find it interesting because one month ahead is a sinking fund. His and hers is a sinking fund. But these are special, they're specific ones. So with sinking funds, I'm just gonna give it 120. We're light on the sinking funds. Um, this go round, so plus 120. So 770 is what we have. 
1,770, and then we're gonna subtract that from the 1,577, minus $1,577.19. So that's 807.19. 807.19. <clears throat> okay, and then next up, I'm gonna go to my savings. So we'll go here, here. Let's just make some little arrows. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> so for savings, um, I do fire. Okay, and so for this, I'm gonna budget thirty dollars. And then um, for my um, M1, I'm gonna also budget $30. IRA, I'm gonna give zero dollars and then I'm gonna start back because I, I talked to God, I need to do better at it. But I'm gonna start back with my giving, and that is gonna be thirty dollars. So 369 is where we are, and then we also have emergency fund, and she's getting zero. I said it, you heard it here first. So we're doing $90. I'm doing zero to my emergency fund because this debt is going to be debt, y'all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do 807. 807.19 minus 90. That's 717. 19. So 717. 19. And then we're going to. How do I want to do this? Uh, uh, then this has to be last. So I won't put it. Okay, so here we have credit card, and then we also have student loans. So I told you guys previously that I was trying to, you saw that I was saving money for a house, I was trying to buy a house, put all this money towards um, putting the, um, I can't think of what it's called, when you give the $1,000, when you do the inspections, like, um, and when you get an appraisal, I put all this money towards it, charge it to my credit card, and, um, decided to back out the house because the numbers wasn't mathing. So with that said, I got a lot of debt on my credit card because of that, which we're, we're, we're gonna get that taken care of. But first things first, student loans, I'm gonna give that $150. And then my credit card, I'm gonna give 567 plus 567, that is 717. 717. That means that there's only going to be 19 cents left over. And let's get a highlighter. I feel like this highlighter, this might not be the best highlighter. Let's get a different highlighter. Okay. Got a green one. I like it because it's money. Um, I'm just going to highlight what's in cash, but let's go over it. So $1,955.66 is what I'm getting for my full time job, my fixed expenses, all of the bills that I have to pay that's going to total out to $378.47. Then from there, I have my variable expenses, which is 7, which is crazy cuz my variable expenses is more than my fixed expenses. But that's $770. I mean, food, we got to pay for food. 52 weeks is a savings account. $10 is a savings account. One month ahead is a savings account. His and hers is a savings account. And then sinking funds are cash envelopes. So technically, I'm kind of saving a lot of money. Then we go from here to my actual savings, FIRE, which is my financial independence retire early, which is my account with Fidelity. Going to give that 30. Going to give my M1 brokerage account $30. IRA zero. I'm going to give my giving $30. And then my emergency fund zero. We, my fiance and I, do not actually go to a church. We actually watch a church online. And I feel like he shares the word with us. So maybe we should, you know, give money with that as well. I also feel like there are other places, you know, especially in New Orleans that you can give your money to to help serve people. So that's something I'm praying about, which is why I'm putting back giving in my budget. And then we have debt, student loans debt, $150, which if you didn't know before, I am not actually putting this money anymore, at least for the next couple few months until we go to pay back. I'm not putting it to the actual debt. Now that I switched with Nelnet, I'm actually putting in a high yield savings account so it can gain some interest. And then that way I can put in the money send the money that I put in as well as the interest. And then I also have the credit card debt, um, $567. My goal is this, by the end of this month, there is no credit card debt, none. Okay, so let's do what's cash. So I don't do food and cash anymore. 
I put that on my credit card so I can get my points. 52 weeks savings, that's cash. $10 challenge, cash, one month ahead, cash, his and hers, cash and sinking fund is also cash. So my thought process is y'all, <laughs> I'm thinking I wanna get some, some more fake money or whatever. So then that way I will put all the 52 weeks money or whatever, because it's thousands of dollars now into a high yield savings account. Again, it gains interest. And then I just cash stuff with fake funds. I don't know, I feel like that's a better idea for me. But again, I need to find somewhere to purchase that fake money. So I'm on the hunt for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys budget your first paycheck for the month of June. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.